Hi everyone and welcome to today's running review. So in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at the Ultra Venture 3 from Topo. So here we go. Okay, so let's talk about the Ultra Venture 3s then. So before I give you guys my thoughts and opinions, just a few stats on the shoe. So uh, this shoe in a size 9 weighs in at 290 grams. It has a 5mm heel to toe offset. So you've got 35mm of stack here in the heel, 30mm in the forefoot. Uh, the mesh upper on this shoe features uh, recycled materials, so I think for the pair of shoes it equates to uh, three large recycled bottles, so kind of good for the environment. It also features Topo's uh, gaiter system here, so you've got a couple of attachments to use the Topo gaiters with this shoe. Um, the midsole, they're using uh, Topo Zip Foam which has been increased in stack from the previous model. So you're now getting more cushioning underfoot in the version three than you did on the version two. And it's actually uh, Topo's most cushioned uh, shoe that they have in their trail lineup. So yeah, loads of cushioning underfoot with this shoe. The outsole, uh, they're using Vibram's XS Trek Evo rubber, I think it is. For the outsole, um, not massive lugs on the shoe, but um, as you know with Vibram, very, very sticky and gets the job done in wet conditions. Um, I think that's about it. In terms of price, you can pick this shoe up here uh, in the UK for £150, which I think is pretty reasonable. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the shoe. So I think in total I've run nearly 400 kilometres in these shoes since I've had them and the longest run I think was just under 60 kilometers so definitely giving these shoes a good run for their money and uh, I will say that I really really enjoyed using them uh, the softness of this midsole has been superb like coming from using Hoka shoes um, I do like a lot of cushioning underfoot and these topos haven't disappointed at all um, really really soft not overly responsive so if you're looking for something to pick up a bit of pace in probably not the shoe for you but um, as the ultra venture name probably suggests these are sort of aimed towards ultra distance running so if you're looking to go long and just you know cruising along and eating up the miles this midsole is superb um, also when you're running down hills with it being so soft and cushioning it's um, definitely absorbs the impact of running downhill and uh, yeah that's made that a real joy as well um, the upper absolutely no issues with the upper I've really enjoyed Topo's wide toe box as I say coming from using speed goats and the ATR um, having this wide toe box has definitely been a bit of a game changer especially on those days when you just want to you know put on a comfy pair of shoes and go out for a cruising run gives you that little bit of extra room up there for your toes to spread out and also when you're going those long distances when your feet swell a little bit perfectly accommodating for that kind of situation but with 400 kilometers running them as well absolutely no sort of deterioration on this material on the upper as well and the shoe in general is holding together pretty good uh, one thing to point out about the upper I had noticed is in wet conditions when the shoe does get wet it does tend to hold on to a little bit of moisture in the upper material for a while um, it doesn't give you that horrible sort of boggy squelchy feeling um, so the shoe does drain pretty well but it does hold on to a bit of water so it does remain damper 
uh, than other shoes that I've used in the past. So yeah, it just takes a little bit of a while to, for it to dry out basically. But it's not an issue, um, it's just something to be aware of. Um, also with the upper, this toe bumper. So I've had the uh, odd occasion where I've stubbed my toes on like a root or a rock and this um, toe bumper here has looked after my toenails. So yeah, pretty impressed with that toe bumper. <clears throat> also, the tongue has this sort of like um, loops here that the laces feed through, which help give you a really nice sort of lockdown on the midfoot. Because on the inside they have this sort of like um, reinforcement strips, I guess you could call them. Um, and yeah, basically it just sort of keep, helps give you that nice hold around the midfoot while still giving you that sort of extra roomy space in the toe box. So yeah, a really comfortable shoe in the upper. And um, yeah, just like a slipper. Now, moving down to the outsole. This thing has been awesome on wet rock, uh, gravel paths, uh, grassy fields, all sorts of terrain. Um, I don't think, as I say, it's not really gonna hold up in sort of wet, boggy conditions, but with it being the summertime here in the UK, I haven't really taken it through too much mud. Um, but in general, it's, it's been great on a wide variety of terrains. And um, yeah, it definitely runs well on the road as well. So if you're looking for sort of like a crossover shoe, you know, that can do sort of like a bit of road running, if you've got to run from home to trail, and you want a bit of comfort, definitely one to look into. Um, as I say, it's just, it's been so easy to run in, and it's been a real, real delight. Um, but if you're looking to pick up the pace, definitely not the shoe for you. But if you're running ultras, and you want to stay comfortable for a long period of time, I think the Ultra Venture 3 is definitely worth a look. Um, other than that, I think that's about it really. In general, a superb shoe. £150, I think it's well worth the price. Um, very similarly priced to uh, other competitors out there on the market. I mean, Speed Goats are slightly cheaper, but um, I think with the build quality and the wear that I'm seeing on this after 400 kilometers, I think these will probably um, outlast the pair of speed goats because by now after 400 kilometers on a pair of speed goats traditionally i would have burned through most of this outsole and um yeah i'll probably be looking to replace them in the not too distant future but these things here holding up really well and um yeah i think i've probably got at least another five six hundred kilometers left of life in these um yeah before i look to replace them so yeah all in all, a really good shoe. I'll put some links below to where you can pick up a pair of these shoes for yourself and find out a little bit more information about them. But if you have any more questions about it and things you want to ask me about my experience with the Ultra Venture 3, drop them down in the comments and I'll um, get back to you when I can. So that's it for my little review of the uh, Topo Ultra Venture 3 trail shoes. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked today's video, please press the like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more running videos like this. So that's it, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.